Hey you guys, I hope you're ready for something cool. Welcome to my Big Commerce Expert Series. I'm Cal. In these videos, I show you guys cool things that you can do on Big Commerce. And today, we're going to talk about something that is very beneficial from an SEO standpoint. Let me share my screen. Okay, on this site, we sell everything, everything you could want with RVs. And so all of the categories need to be optimized for RV type terms. Now, a lot of clients have told me that they just dumb down their titles so that they don't make their menus ugly, right? This is the number one reaction I get when I ask, why aren't you making your categories more long tail? And it's because we don't want to ugly up our menus. So if we, if we have 20 different categories and they all end with four RVs, here's what happens is you end up with a dynamic menu that says blah, 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 for RVs, generators for RVs, heaters for RVs, and it looks like puke. Okay, now there's two different scenarios that I'm gonna show you guys how we solved in this particular situation. There are titles where we wanna optimize our categories as blah, blah, blah for RVs, and then we, we have some categories, uh, like over here, where we have uh, the, the category terms prepended with the word RV. So depending on the keyword that is most appropriate for that category, you may want to say this is RV propane or propane for RVs, right? And you want to optimize to the thing that's getting the most searches. So, you know, worry about optimizing first and then fixing the problems that come up second. So if you want to go through and rename all of your categories to be for your demographic, blah, 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 for RVs, like we did in this situation, then you need to fix what happens in the menu. Otherwise, your users are going to be super turned off by seeing this RV keyword or whatever your keyword is over and over and over again. Let me show you how we fix it. Now, this is really a testament to the power of Big Commerce and Stencil because with a good developer, you can solve some problems like this. Not too hard but you kind of just have to put your head together. So if we're gonna put four RVs and RV space into our titles, we wanna figure out how to get them out of the menu dynamically. And so in our menu files, I'm gonna just show you the code and show you what happens when I push some different things. Let me just kind of put it like that so we can see, okay. All right, so when you, when you drill down to the right spot in the code, you'll see this spot where it's basically saying, okay, just give me the name. If I use a split and split on the word space for, or the key phrase space for, then I'm basically splitting the title right here for anything that has the word for in it, right? So I'll end up just kind of like when you comma separate something, you end up with what's before the comma and what's after the comma, except this time our comma is the word for with a space in front of it. So, whoops, uh, come on. All right, so if we split on the word for, we can say split on the word for, which gives us an, you know, a, an array, right? And then we say, okay, take the first item in that array. So anything before the for, is gonna automatically output. So let me comment that out and then uncomment the split. Look back here, all the four RVs are gone, but we do still have the RV spaces. So for that, there's a slightly different fix, which I have right here on the next section commented out. So I'm kind of showing you guys the steps because we're we're combining two different things into one to form Voltron, an SEO Voltron. <clears throat> okay, here we have a replace statement. Replace is cool because we can take something out of a out of a a string. Okay, so the string is our name, the name of the category, and we're going to say if RV space is in it, then replace it out. And if it's not in it, then just go ahead and show the name like normal, okay? So if we do that, and we wait for it to refresh for a second, fixed all the RV spaces, right? Now, because I took out the split, our four RVs are back, but you can see I fixed 
the two different problem scenarios just one at a time, this is when we combine them to form Voltron. If I can click back in, okay. So my last statement here, the, the real one, is a combination of this replace with the split. So it's exactly the same as the replace, except right here where the otherwise statement is. So replace it if it's there, otherwise show this. We are putting in this first split statement instead of just a plain old name. So let me show you that. Boom, boom. All right. Looking at our drop downs, four RVs is gone. RV space is gone. And with that, with that four split, it's going to split on the word four. So you technically could, um, you know, use different words after the four and it would just take care of all of them all the time. If you had multiple things that you were prepending, then you would have to use multiple replace statements, but it's not the end of the world. The important thing is that you optimize your categories as well as you can for the, for the long tail keyword that you're going after. after. So if, if putting something in your uh, category titles like air conditioners for RVs is beneficial, put it in and let's figure out how to fix the menu secondarily. All right, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Leave me a comment if so. Uh, leave me a comment. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are struggling on. Give me a like if you thought this was interesting and uh, feel free to join our course. Link's up there. Or if you need a dev team, reach out to us at Epic Design Labs. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.